Hey guys, it's Corey with 10 Best Ones. And today we've decided to review the five best options for you. If you'd like to see their price and find out more information, you can check out the links in the description down below. Let's get started. Next up, we have a model which gives you the best value for your money. Number five. TCL 49S405. The TCL Roku 49S405 is a modestly priced TV that nonetheless manages to deliver good quality for its entry level price. The 49 inch 4K TV offers high dynamic range, HDR support, decent sound, and Roku's excellent smart TV platform. It even has short lag time for better gaming. The 49-inch set has the same basic design as all of the models in TCL's S-Series, with glossy black plastic bezels and a matte black cabinet for all of the TV's internals. The TCL Roku 49S405 is an Ultra HD set with HDR support, but beyond the 3840x2160 resolution, it keeps things basic, with support for HDR10, but no other HDR formats, like Dolby Vision or Technicolor HDR. It also lists 120Hz CMI, which refers to TCL's clear motion index, but that's only an effective refresh rate achieved through processing to make the picture look smoother. The panel itself has a basic refresh rate of 60Hz, which isn't a surprise in this price range. The power connector sits on the right side of the back of the TV near the edge. All other connections sit closer to the left side on the back. Three HDMI ports, a USB port, an antenna cable connector, an optical audio output, a 3.5mm headphone jack and a reset button face left from the back of the TV. Navigating the TCL 49S 405's interface is as simple as it gets. After the initial setup process, all your streaming services and connected devices are accessible through the main screen. The most popular streaming channels, including Netflix, Hulu and Amazon Prime Video, are installed by default, and all you have to do is log in. Adding additional channels is pretty easy as well. Audio is the weakest portion of this otherwise outstanding budget 4K TV. The two-channel 8-watt speakers are perfectly listenable and deliver a decent audio experience, but it lacked the depth and range to match the picture quality. And with some media, it tended to sound a bit tinny. That may be detectable to the ear of an audiophile. To enhance this lackluster experience, we recommend connecting at least a soundbar or using headphones. Overall, I'd say it's a great TV that performs well with consoles and gaming. This next model is the best option for gaming, and I think that this would be a great fit for any type of gamer. Number 4. TCL 55 S525 The TCL S525 is an excellent 4K TV for console gaming and PC use. While its display panel only offers a 60Hz refresh rate and thus doesn't allow for high frame rate gaming in the 120Hz range, the TV delivers superbly good performance as long as you keep this general gaming limitation in mind. Input lag is wonderfully low for most resolutions. The TCL S525 is surprisingly remarkably good in a number of specific ways. All of them combined with its price make this particular budget 4K TV all the more attractive as a starter edition or extra television for your home. Running Roku 9.0 OS, TCL 5 series easily has one of the widest app selections and largest free streaming channels for cord cutters. While the user interface isn't as modern as others, animation and loading times are fast and snappy. It's also ad-free, so fewer frustrations for you. You shouldn't have any problem browsing through your favourite streaming apps. Going hand-in-hand -hand with great input lag performance is excellent motion handling. Instead of gamers having to take advantage of this feature, movie addicts will also appreciate it. When watching fast-paced scenes such as sports, racing or action, TCL 5 series leaves very minimal blur trails. This means less distraction when watching or playing games. Technically speaking, we're looking at between 5 milliseconds and 14 milliseconds. The grey uniformity of TCL 5 series is not bad or good, just okay. Some noticeable clippings on four corners are present, but the dirty screen effect is quite tolerable. Overall, I'd say that it's a great TV for almost any use. If you're looking for a budget 4K TV that you can play games on, then switch to Netflix and watch your favourite TV shows, then this TV is the one you should go with. It can basically handle anything you throw at it effortlessly. If you're looking for a mid-range model, then this next pick is a great option. Number 3. LG UM7300 The UM7300 4K TV is one of LG's newest models, and as such it doesn't come with any extra features or incredible HDR. 
That said though, this TV is surprisingly good at how well it performs for most content, and its gaming performance is especially outstanding. The UM7300 also has a great visual quality in bright rooms. Furthermore, it comes with IPS display technology, and this means wide viewing angles, but it also comes with a negative trade-off, in terms of weak dark levels and contrast. LG may offer some impressive designs on its premium sets, but the LG UM7300 is far more restrained. The design is simple, with chunky black bezels around the screen, a basic stand and a basic plastic rear back panel that's mostly featureless, but tapers around the top and sides for a less boxy look. The UM7300 PUA is outfitted with three HDMI ports, two USB ports, a coaxial connector for hooking up an antenna, and combination components and composite video inputs. There's a LAN port for connecting to your home network via Ethernet, but the TV also has 802.11 AC Wi-Fi built in. Despite its budget price and certain lackluster specs, the UM7300 is actually a surprisingly good 4K UHD TV in many ways. This is all the more surprising considering the historical tendency of LG's low-range LCD IPS TVs, which has for years been pretty bad, especially with the pseudo 4K resolution that many of them offer due to substitution of RGB pixels with white light pixels that acted as filler and reduced image quality drastically. The UM7300 at least doesn't suffer that particular problem and has some great additional qualities that make it rise above what it could have been. It hammers down the input lag within the scope of what's capable in terms of frame rate and HDR capability. Thus, for gaming via console devices, the UM7300 is a highly responsive UHD 4K TV that makes for a great casual gaming addition at a budget price. Before we talk about the best model overall, let's look at the runner-up for this list. Number 2. Vizio M558G1 the Vizio M-Series Quantum is a fascinating offering from a manufacturer best known for its thrifty smart TVs. This year, Vizio's play is to add Quantum Dot enhancement to its full range of TVs, from the premium flagship models to economy class sets. The enhanced display delivers fantastic colour and brightness, while Vizio's SmartCast operating system offers plenty of flexibility with its combination of free content, included apps and built-in Google Chromecast for enjoying thousands of additional apps and services. Overall, the M-Series Quantum is so impressive that it makes our list of best 4K TVs you can buy. From a design perspective, slim black bezels around the top and sides of the display with a thicker bezel running along the bottom edge. In the bottom right corner of this is a silver Vizio logo, the only significant feature on the front of the set. The M55 HE1 is outfitted with four HDMI ports, two on the side and two on the bottom, with one offering audio return channel, ARC, support for a simple connection of soundbars. There's a single USB port for connecting a flash drive or powering a dongle, and an optical connection for older digital surround sound systems. RCA stereo jacks are also available for plugging in speakers, and finally there's a connection for HD antennas. The M-Series Quantum TVs checked off a lot of the right boxes where general picture quality is concerned. Obviously, 4K resolution puts them on par with just about any TV worth buying in 2020, but their real strength, and in fact the strength of Physio's TVs in general, comes from their full array local dimming backlights. For most users, the vast majority of the time, the M558 HE1 is a great TV for not a lot of money. You certainly won't find better colour in this price range, and it really doesn't get much better in the top tier. Finally, the next model is the best overall. From us, it gets a perfect score in all categories. Number 1. Hisense 50H8G The Hisense 50H8G is a model that's suitable for those that want the jack of all trades, but master of none, in a good way. It can basically handle anything, but it won't perform like a TV made for a specific reason, such as for gaming, or watching HDR movies, or anything similar. It has a VA panel, so it's able to produce deep blacks when viewed in the dark, and it has a full array local dimming feature. It has decent reflection handling, and it gets bright enough to combat glare, and if you also want to game on it, it has a good response time and an incredibly low input lag. The Hisense H8G Quantum series offers a bounty of ports for your external entertainment hardware, all set in several inches from the left-hand edge of the TV. When it comes to connectivity, this TV has three HDMI ports along with two USB ports and an optical port. It also has an RF connector which you can use to connect to an HDTV antenna. On a separate part, it has an HDMI port, Ethernet port, composite RCA and of course the headphone jack which you can use to connect your headphones. Needless to say, it has an excellent 4K picture quality, very slim bezels and the best part is it's an Android TV, 
so the possibilities are endless. Definitely would recommend it to all of you that are looking for a versatile TV at a good price. The Hisense HHG Quantum Series does so much at a price that'll make you wonder why you'd even consider premium televisions. Overall, this is an affordable, high-quality television, and we highly recommend it. Buying Guide Number 1. HDR High dynamic range technology, otherwise known as HDR, increases the depth of an image and presents more accurate colours than on previous TVs. This is because an HDR TV is capable of deep controlled black levels while displaying brighter areas of a picture more vividly than ever before. It means you'll see more detail in dark areas of an image and without washing out the deep black zones, and whites on a screen will be bright and natural. Secondly, size. The most important factor in all TVs is always the size. This is very important because not every size of TV will be appropriate for every room. For example, if you set up an entertainment centre in a smaller room, the couch will be about 5 feet from the TV, you won't need an 85-inch TV. On the other hand, a 45-inch TV won't be enough for a large living room. Then there's the desk space or wall space aspect that comes with larger TVs that you need to accommodate. And thirdly, connectivity. The connectivity aspect of the TV is also extremely important, at least in my opinion. This is because a lot of us use different devices to connect to our TVs, including consoles, sound systems, antennas, TV boxes and so much more. So for that reason, take a look at the connectivity ports and see if it has the ports that are needed for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.